hello everyone I hope that uh, you have a great day today uh, in this in this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, C++ to uh, create a new file and then write some simple data to the file and close the file okay so let's get started so here's my uh, uh, Visual Studio uh, 2012 okay, and then I believe that uh, you can use any addition it's fine it will be fine so let me click the new project and then I will be using uh, Visual Visual C++ and then Win32 console application and then the, uh, here will be the location so let me let me get it to uh, my computer and then assume that I'm going to create a file under my local drive uh, local disk okay, I and then let me uh, put everything inside the demo okay so this will be the path okay I drive and then demo okay and then let me just click okay and then uh, for the uh, file name uh, sorry for the project name you can pick anything it will be fine so let me call it uh, write uh, file demo okay and then uh, as of now okay uh, you can use the default which means that yeah, after I click OK it will create a new uh, directory with the same uh, solution name okay, that I put over here so let's just get started okay click OK and then next okay, and then empty project and click finish and let me add a new file okay and C++ so you can see the source code will be stored under iDrive the folder demo the uh, solution name uh, write file demo and then another uh, same folder name okay uh, write file demo and then let me click add there you go so now I'm going to quickly type in some I will quickly type some code in there okay so let me type okay, include iostiem using namespace std int man all right and then let me just quickly type something in there and then run the program even though I hadn't uh, written any code yet but then I want to make sure that okay, everything runs fine that's great all right so now okay uh, I want to give you this concept okay uh, so you can use a uh, data to write uh, data to a file so if we want to send the output to the uh, monitor we use CL and we type hello word right? and apply okay so this okay, C out okay, actually uh, is equivalent to your okay, uh, monitor right? okay so let me run it okay. there you go okay so this is your monitor okay. but then if I'm going to create a file so first of all I need to include the correct header file okay, which will be uh, file stiem okay, because this iostim is used uh, to communicate with the uh, keyboard for input i stands for input uh, o stands for output which is monitor but now we want to uh, write data to a file so that's why we have to include this one okay, file stiem Okay, and then next step will be okay, we need okay, we need okay, to okay, okay so we have done the step one already step two okay we have to declare a variable okay uh, to represent the to represent the so-called file handler okay step three open a file step four write or read data to the file and then step five remember to close the file so let's do step two over here okay so step two okay I'm going to declare a variable okay so let me uh, call the variable let's say uh, my out all right the uh, example here okay use C out so I will call my output device is my out and then the type will be okay uh, our file stiem stands for output okay so okay over here we just declare a variable you can pick any name doesn't matter 
and then now I'm going to get use this file handler available to open okay, open a file okay, open the file okay. and then any name a file name uh, doesn't matter okay. you name it okay dot txt okay, for example and then ha ah, so here's my a uh, personal style so when I okay, open the file okay, I keep a habit of close it okay, okay close it first okay and then in between I can write the code okay but before I go further okay I want you uh, to see that okay, uh, if we execute okay, the program over here okay uh, where it create a file called you name it txt first secondly if it does create a one where it will get stored okay so let me uh, use the combination key window and e to open the window explorer and a moment ago okay you can see that okay i store my file under idrive okay demo right okay idrive demo and then uh, write file uh, demo and then another folder name write file demo okay so let me uh, show you okay let me show you okay uh, my iDrive okay there you go and then under demo okay write file and then get okay, send a folder name so you can see that is the same okay same location okay same location where I store my source code all right all right okay so very good sorry and then now let me uh, yeah okay so now let me run the program but as of now you can see under this directory okay, there is no file called you name it txt but then if I execute the program right now okay then you can see ah indeed a new file called uh, you name it dot txt got created okay which will be created under the same directory like my source code okay like my source code okay so as of now let me comment around this one but if i open up okay, this file there's no content okay i mean the content is just blank the reason is that I hadn't written anything to it at all. So assume that okay, I want to okay, output this hello world in the file into the file. So uh, the syntax will be kind of similar to the syntax over here. C out represent the monitor, right? And then if I'm going to output hello world, ah, so it seems to me that if I replace C out with my my out, then you will send the hello world to the file so yeah sure why not let's try it All right so let me highlight this one okay control c control v and then combinate it out and then replace okay uh, c out with my out All right the rest of it the syntax is exactly the same okay okay exactly the same so now okay if i execute this program all right it's done and then let me uh, navigate back to the uh, uh, location of my okay, uh, you name it file and then now if i double click it ah there you go okay hello world is there and then you say okay if i want to add let's say some numerical value to it such as 20 okay we send 20 to the file let's check it out so let me run it again okay close it okay and then open it up ah there you go just that like it okay, so it's really just that simple okay it really is really just uh, that simple okay so okay this shows that okay, i mean uh, how you can uh, create a file you pick a name and then write data to it. Okay, 
either string value, numerical value is really up to you. At the end, remember to close it. But then you say, well, what happened to that? If I want to okay, uh, uh, create a file at a different location, okay, such as maybe okay, under uh, iDrive download. Okay, so what do I do? Oh, no big deal. Okay, so let's just take a few more minutes to do it. Okay. Okay, so this will be the path, okay, I drive, and then the uh, directory delimiter. But since this is equivalent to the special escape sequence character, so you have to put two of them. Okay, so you have to add one, and then a moment ago, okay, I mentioned it, okay, I want to put it under, okay, uh, download, right, under download, okay. So now let me add the folder name in there. Okay, so it will be download and then again, okay, uh, uh, directory delimiter. Okay, there you go. All right. So before I uh, run it, okay, I run the program. I want you to see that under my download, uh, there's no file called it. you name it .txt at all. Okay, yeah. So now let me run it. And then let's see okay, uh, whether a file with the name will be created under okay, iDrive download or not. There you go. Okay, this is the file, and those will be the content. All right, that's all. Okay, have a good day, and then uh, I hope you enjoy it. Okay.